All right, welcome everybody. Today's video finds us over here in the Chok Chai Sea or the Chok Chai Four area of uh, Bangkok, kind of the Lad Prao area, which is one of the suburbs. Anyway, uh, we come over here to check out a, uh, a temple that I've never seen before. And I didn't even know about until one of my viewers notified me of it. Anyway, we're gonna check out the Guan Yin Bodhisattva Temple or something like that. Anyway, uh, I know I'm mispronouncing it, but it's the uh, Guan Yin Temple that's over here just up on this, uh, this road called uh, Chok Chai Si. And so anyway, we're gonna look around here at this and uh, see what we see. Right over there is going to be our goal. And then uh, right across the way is another building that has a Guan Yin on it. And uh, this is what caught my eye and we stopped over here. There's a Guan Yin shrine with a humongous building back behind. So let's look at this really quick and then we'll walk over to the main part. And uh, there's just all kinds of little stuff here. This is all Chinese temples. So uh, Guan Yin, she's a goddess uh, from China. And there is a huge Chinese influence in a lot of stuff that you see here in Thailand. There's a lot of people that immigrated here from China over the centuries. Yeah, there's a, a lot going on here. They got the little lions, they got the oxen, the dragons, and then the Guan Yin, and then it has all the murals and everything. And then there is a big building back behind, but I don't think we'll check it out. We may look at just a few of the shrines and stuff that are down there. And over here is where they put the firecrackers in. And then they have uh, some Buddha statues, the big fish, a horse, quite a bit of stuff. And then you can ring the bells. And then over here is where you buy the firecrackers. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff. You got the Chinese lanterns, statues, all of that everywhere. Now it's pretty interesting, I uh, made a video of a massive Guan Yin statue over in Kanchanaburi. And now here we are in Bangkok, gonna go see the uh, Guan Yin statue here. They have all the figures. <laughs> it's just, you see stuff like this in, uh, in Thailand at random. So uh, here you can buy the little charms, the amulets and stuff like that. Looks like they have uh, upstairs. All right, so we looked at the shrine. Let's go across the road now. All right, so there's the, uh, the sign when you first come in. Now, it says something about the God above directed them to come over here and build this temple and ordered them to uh, place 10,000 statues around the Guan Yin. And if you come here and pray that you will have success. So that's the, uh, the premise for this little temple. And there's the courtyard in the front. And as you can see, there are a few statues all around. You got Buddha statues up there. Have some bamboo, have the Chinese Buddha here. Little figures all around this little courtyard. And then figures all around the base of this pagoda. So here is the tower. And I don't know if it's all finished all the way up or not. Now, I believe this temple was started in 1983. And what's funny is I live just a, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes from here. And I've lived within 10 minutes of it for uh, well over a decade. And I never even knew this temple was here. So uh, this is a real treat for me. All right, let's go up in there and let's see all of that. So up there is the main shrine. Now this temple has another name. It's Tamnak Pre Me Kun Im. And this is another sect of Buddhism. And it's a really strict set, sect of Buddhism. And it de demands that if you come over here to this temple to be a monk that you uh, are going to be a monk for life and it also demands that you uh, are a vegetarian 
Here we have some people that donated to the temple. The Million Years Stone Garden. And here's the, the little lions guarding the base of the stairs. We'll walk around and we'll look at all of these statues after. So let's go up here and look at this Guan Yin. All right, so here is the main image. Now, as you can see, the Guan Yin has a thousand arms, a thousand eyes. There's supposed to be an eye on each hand, and then you'll see them a lot with 11 heads. Now, as I said in my video from over in Kanchanaburi, the uh, Guan Yin has 11 heads because she's supposed to be the goddess that looks out over uh, women and children. And you'll see her sometimes dressed up in a white robe, like uh, the little statue right down here. So she'll be wearing a white robe often. But anyway, it has 11 heads because the first head split and it split and split to where uh, the Guan Yin could think about all the people that she was out to take care of. And then uh, the 11 or the thousand arms comes in that their arms split so that she could take care of everybody. And then it grew a thousand eyes so that she could uh, watch out for everybody. So that is the story behind it. I know it, there's a whole lot more to it and I tell it really poorly, but uh, that is a little bit of my understanding about it. And if you know more, please feel free to tell me in the comments down below. You can see there's uh, four of these statues around. They have it roped off here so you can't go down. And then here they have a little shrine so the people are burning the candles. And here has the uh, has these wooden casks. These are pretty neat. They're all hand painted. It says some stuff in Thai up here. So it's probably has to do with like donations or something like that. Yeah, this little hall is really nice. Now it closes at seven o'clock. So if you're over here, I believe it's open from 9 a.m. until 7 in the morning. And one of the royals. Yeah, I like these shrines that are kind of painted around the base of it. And here's the uh, other Guan Yin. That's the third one. We have uh, another set of stairs here. And this little temple is just kind of shoehorned in here amongst all the the city i mean in bangkok there's never enough room so every little square inch is used that's pretty neat now there's a place here for people to come to meditate and also they do something with the uh, vegetarian festival here Oh, I see what you do with these things. So this is, you spin it, and then you donate coins to the temple. Okay, so it doesn't have to do with uh, people that have donated. It has to do with you donating to the temple. And then here is the last Guan Yin statue. You can hear, see here some more. We got beads and holding a small little figure. And then they have a Chinese Buddha there that's carved out of wood. These are pretty interesting, some of these little seats that they have. Okay, so let's see what else this temple has to offer. Okay, so they have up here, it looks like you can go and see some of the murals, but uh, there's no photos allowed in there, inside of the pagoda. And it closes at four o'clock, so we're not gonna be able to see that today. So it's actually pretty interesting. This temple has some little data plates so this is Bodhisattva Vitu. He is like the uh, commander in chief of the heavenly gods, and he's uh, supposed to be like the protector, sworn protector of the Dharma, is what it says. And then here's Guan Yu. He's the uh, he's known for his honesty and bravery, and he'll be always placed like to the left of. Uh, like the main Buddha statue at these Chinese temples. And then you have some of the heavenly generals and all of that. Yeah, there's so much the Chinese Buddhism that I have no idea and I'll never, I'll never know about. 
you can see over there, that's that shrine we first saw when we came in. Didn't even notice the huge uh, Buddha statue up on the roof until now. And then that one over there. Okay, let's walk around this and see these, uh, these 10,000 statues. can see some of the statues, some of the Guanyins, some of the Buddhas. These all look like Guanyins here with some of the Buddhas on the outside. All right, so that's gonna finish up a quick little video over here in Chok Chai Si at this Guanyin temple. This is nice enough. I would like to go up and see those uh, murals. So another day, I mean, I know where it is and it's close to my house, so I can come over here and see it anytime. This is just something uh, different to do. So if you're over in kind of the suburbs of Bangkok and you have a little bit of free time, come over and check out this uh, little shrine. It's nice, it's, uh, it's worth 30 minutes of your time or so. And uh, it's just kind of in a little backwater. So uh, anyway guys, if you liked the video, make sure you click like and uh, subscribe to my channel, share it with your friends if you would like. And uh, let me know what you think of this video in a comment. If you're new to my channel, you know, stick around, subscribe, and then you're notified whenever I post new videos, which I do pretty often. I'm, a, I'm an active uh, content creator. So if you like this kind of stuff about Thailand and things that I see and do, then uh, you know, subscribe and then you uh, get notified whenever I post a new video. So from over here in Chok Chai Si, remember guys, life is a journey. Until next time, enjoy. Thank you.